My name is Mark Miller, and I'll be your instructor today. Do I have to wear these? Hi, I'm Mark. I'm a husband, a father, a granddad, a leader, an author, and a communicator. I also sell chicken for a living. The reason I'm on the planet, the best I can discern, is to encourage and equip leaders. It gives me energy. It's why I get up in the morning. My professional journey as a chicken salesman began more than 40 years ago when I became a team member at a local Chick-fil-A restaurant. Now, the truth is, I was awful in the restaurant. I made it about six months and I actually knew that my job was in jeopardy. So I did the only thing that made sense to me as a kid at the time, I quit. I decided it would look better on my resume to have left a job than to be fired. Well, about six months later, I needed a job and I decided to go to the Chick-fil-A corporate headquarters. Here's the way the logic worked for me. Now again, I don't pretend that this makes any sense, but I thought, well, I can't do what they do in the restaurant maybe I can work at the corporate headquarters. Now, that's no reflection on the other professionals at the headquarters, but I walked in and said, I'd like to have a job working in your warehouse. Well, the receptionist told me to have a seat, and just a few minutes later, Truett Cathy came out and took me into his office to conduct an interview. Now, you may not know that name, but Truett Cathy was the founder of Chick-fil-A. He's the guy that invented the chicken sandwich. And so if you know anything about Chick-fil-A, you're probably thinking, now why was the CEO of this multi-billion dollar organization interviewing a punk to work in the warehouse? Well, remember, this was over 40 years ago. It was not a multi-billion dollar household brand back then. I learned that I was interviewing to be the 16th corporate employee. And I tell people today that a combination of God's grace and Truett's lack of discernment, he gave me that job working in the warehouse. And over the last 43 years, I've had the privilege to work all across the business. Recently, while talking to a group of young people, someone asked me about the most important insight or lesson that I had gleaned throughout my career. Well, I thought that was a fantastic question. And here's what I came up with in the moment. And as I've reflected on it, I still think it's the right answer. Early in my career, within that first year, I'd moved out of the Chick-fil-A warehouse and I'd started our corporate communications group, which is crazy. Don't get me started why they'd let a teenager start corporate communications. Again, I think it's because there were only 16 of us. But in that role, my supervisor challenged me with an idea that changed my life. He said, your capacity to grow determines your capacity to lead. Well, I don't know if that strikes you as profound or not, but it, it changed my life forever. Because here's the truth. Learning is not my number one priority, or it wasn't at that time. I was a lousy student. My parents wished that I'd had this insight many years sooner. But he explained to me that if you want more opportunity, if you want more influence, if you want more impact, you have to keep learning. You have to keep growing. And so I made a decision over 40 years ago that I would make a commitment to lifelong learning. I want to change the world by magnifying leaders. Leaders have the power to change the world. Change, positive change, is never an accident. If you see something good happening in the world, you're going to find a leader somewhere in that process. Leaders are the lever to literally change the world.